I have a bit of an ear infection, but I'm going to try to get through this anyway. <laughs> the goal is to become obsolete. What am I doing here? I'm trying to show big women that they're beautiful and to give a voice to the non-believers out there who are struggling inside deeply delusional, oppressive religious communities. Those seem to be my two biggest passions, personally. What's the ultimate goal of both of these things? To make a world where we don't need to be reminded that big girls are humans too, with emotions, desires, sexuality, and sexual cravings, preferences, minds of their own, individuality, creativity, and that we should be aware that beauty is all around us, even when we don't have to agree on what that is. And that we should only shame those who shame the preferences of others or who are doing harm to others without their permission. Or, and also to make a world where someone can profess belief or non-belief towards any religion or lack of religion without anybody batting an eyelash, without anybody fearing for anybody's souls, any calling names, supporting scriptural dogmatic bigotry, getting angry or acting violent. Criticizing religion itself such as exposing the story's tendencies to encourage several forms of bigotry, is not bigotry itself. How can expressing and insulting stories in a book be considered hurtful or hateful unless you were the author? Generalizing, on the other hand, and saying every single member of a large group of people all do this is definitely bigotry, such as those who say atheists are all fools. Something I tried my best not to do, I try not to generalize, but we all get angry and say things we know are wrong from time to time, so I will apologize for that, but that's, that's humanity. <laughs> We're not perfect. So long as we understand at the end of the day that everybody is an individual, and some people, no matter how much negativity is thrown their way or how oppressive their uh, system that they've been brought up in, can reject it, can be strong enough to reject that type of stuff. If people are offended by criticizing just the religion only, it is then because they have chosen to be offended, as it was their choice to believe in these demonstrably crazy stories in the first place. But also in many cases, maybe it's the majority of the cases, since a lot of kids probably just had parents that said, don't question. It was probably not their choice in probably the majority of cases. My, our goal is to show people they have a choice, no matter what their religion tells them on the subject. Uh, how some people can consider that to be closed-minded is way beyond my comprehension. Excuse me. In other words, I suppose I'm hoping to become obsolete. I To contribute what I can to help make up for a world that doesn't need me. A world where pinups of full-figured ladies to get us to realize their beauty and all the you-can-be-good-without-God bumper stickers are redundant. Once those causes are fulfilled, There'd be no reason for me to go be going around rambling like a madman about the injustices of religion if the injustices of religion aren't supported by any of the religious anymore. Such as, if you're not with us, you're evil, worthless, foolish. That is the most evil part of any religion. Any religion that says that is evil at the core. And that's the religion itself. I'm not insulting the people. I wouldn't need to be going around telling people, hey, fat girls are beautiful. Uh, yeah, we already knew that, know that, dude. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I probably won't see either goal fulfilled completely before my brain functions dissipate, but I would feel completely ashamed of myself if I stood by and said nothing when I know these things need to be addressed to make for a more peaceful, well-adjusted society. This is my own personal shame, I mean. I'm not shaming anyone who does not choose to support the same causes that I do. We all do what we can with what we are interested in, or what it seems to affect us, or those we love more, and of course, the time we have to spare. And it gives me a sense of satisfaction that I may have helped, even in little ways, to further those goals towards accomplishment. Uh, though I don't think pinups of any kind are going anywhere soon, and with our visual senses tuned to enjoy these things, why not? So long as no one is being exploited and everyone's having fun consensually, I know there are people out there who just like the idea of being having their picture taken naked. I'm one of those people. It's just a feeling we have. It's not anything that's wrong or not good or evil. It's just there. Those of us who enjoy it, enjoy it. Those of us who don't, just choose not to go to pursue it. Just don't condemn those who do.